mother facing charges in hoax cancer claim. Republicans want Klett to keep as state tourism secretary. Injured Girl Scout returns home. These stories and more coming up on this edition of Community News Review. This is Community News Review, a service of WSCS TV, news content provided by WHBL. Hello, I'm Maddie Fister, and welcome to Community News Review for Wednesday, November 28, 2018. An injured Chippewa Falls girl has ended her hospital stay. Madeline Zweivelhofer, a 10-year-old who survived being struck by a truck earlier this month in Chippewa County, is home after recovering at Mayo Clinic Hospital in Rochester. Three girls and one of their parents were killed November 3rd when they were struck as the Girl Scout troop was picking up roadside trash. That driver, 21-year-old Colton Tro, faces multiple counts of homicide. Prosecutors claim he was huffing at the time. A passenger in his car tried to wrestle control of the steering wheel before, right before the crash. A GoFundMe page has been established for Madeline, and as of Monday, it had collected more than $98,000. Prosecutors are bringing charges against the mom who they say faked her child's cancer diagnosis to raise money. Emily Faber is facing one count of theft by false representation in Washara County. Fox 6 reports that Faber is now looking to repay more than $8,000 that has been raised for her daughter. A local pub organized a chili cook-off to raise money. Another volunteer sold special bracelets, and Faber claimed that she found a lump in her two-year-old daughter's arm and then told people that the child had non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. The child's father, based on Faber's claims, also thought that his daughter was sick. Other family members went to the authorities when they wanted to attend treatment session at Children's Hospital and learned that the girl was not a patient there. GoFundMe.com says that they have shut down an account that was set up for the case, and money is being returned to those who have donated. Favor is due back in court in January. A new deal between the state of Wisconsin and Potawatomi Tribe would cost taxpayers a lot less if a second casino is approved in southeast Wisconsin. Governor Walker's administration Tuesday said the tribe has agreed to a $250 million payout if lawmakers approve a second casino within 50 miles. The original deal was with the tribe called for a $500 million payout. The state and the Potawatomi had been in a 15-year dispute over what the tribe's protected area for their lucrative Milwaukee casino. The Potawatomi wanted a 50-mile exclusive area, and federal rules call for 30 miles. The Potawatomi Nation has sought a casino in nearby Kenosha, and Governor Walker rejected that proposal in 2015. The Federal Bureau of Indian Affairs still has to sign off on that deal. Republicans Members of the Wisconsin State Assembly are making an unusual push for Governor-elect Tony Evers to retain the State Tourism Secretary. Ten GOP members of the Assembly Tourism Committee sent Evers a letter urging him to keep Stephanie Klett in charge of the Department of Tourism. The letter says Klett helped grow tourism from 14.8% billion dollars industry in 2011 to more than 20.6 billion dollars today. Committee Chairman Travis Trenell has started an online petition asking for Klett to keep her job. Nearly 2,000 people had signed it as of last Wednesday. Republican Governor Scott Walker, who lost his re-election bid to Evers, appointed Klett as Tourism Secretary at the start of his first term in 2011. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration 
said on Monday that the source of an E. coli outbreak in the United States and Canada that has been associated with romaine lettuce appeared to be growers in the Central Coast region of California. At least 43 people in 12 states and 22 people in Canada have been sickened in the outbreak. Last week, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention issued a blanket warning to avoid all romaine and advised consumers, restaurants, and markets to destroy any on hand. The FDA said that on Monday, all romaine lettuce entering the market should now be labeled with a harvest location and date that consumers should not buy or eat if that information is missing. The agency said that going forward, romaine lettuce grown in the Central Coast region of California should be discarded, while product from elsewhere was no longer subject to warning. And finally, Wisconsin country singer Chris Crows is in the top 10 of The Voice. The Barron native moved on in the com competition, performing on the show with coach Blake Shelton on Monday. The live episode also featured cuts to a voice viewing party at the Barron Area Community Center where his wife, two children, and other supporters were cheering him on. The segment also showed photos of his kids in his old elementary school wearing fake beards during a Chris Crow's dress-up day and a video of support from a fan in the U.S. Air Force. And that is all we have for today. Join me again next week for another recap of our local news on Community News Review. News content for this program provided by WHBL in cooperation with WSCS-TV.